Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, where I'm going to be continuing with my... Whoop, suddenly the in-game sound appears. Whoa, it's a little bit loud, but okay. But, yep, where I'm continuing my adventure from before, I had restarted in the previous episode. There's been a bit of a delay. In that time, it seems like a lot of people have started playing No Man's Sky again. And uh, just a reminder for those who might not know, when No Man's Sky came out, I did stream it and make videos about it for a brief bit. But, um, yep, yeah, uh, I basically was preoccupied with Kerbal anyway, so, and probably I'll go back to being preoccupied with Kerbal again with this, but we'll see how far I get. I am streaming this on, on Twitch at the same time as I'm recording on YouTube, so this is going to be interesting. There's a capsule sort of thing here, broken technology. Uh, yep, yeah, mysterious as usual. Sparkling wires of the machine generate a signal. Tapping out, it's broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Fine, let's decipher signal. I think there's just a... No fuel... Oh, right, right. We, we saw this at the end of the previous episode. Let's scan some stuff. I'm, I'm just uh, learning about the local flora and fauna. We can, like, rename them. I mean, I don't know if we want to come up with some sort of naming convention for various species. That's actually different from the other one? Huh. Hazardous, huh? I've seen, uh, in a previous playthrough... Okay, well, let's get some of the running... The scampering animals. Bumble. Well, I approve of anything that starts out Bumble, so you probably won't change change that name. But I remember these. These are pretty popular around the No Man's Sky universe. The ones with the spinning orb base. Though I seem to recall they used to be a little bit more spherical at the bottom. I don't know how this actually rotates under there. Maybe it's uh, more of a blobish sort of thing so it can deform. Uh, well, let's identify this mineral. And those little green bits are not... okay. And that's fine. Let me get some dihydrogen for my engines. Well, I certainly like third-person view. I've seen other people stream it, and they seem to have different little avatars. So they, they have a different outfit and self. There's an exclamation mark. Hazardous flora. Furry technology module. I, I need to get copper to... Oh, uh, mining copper to build a base computer. Mining copper requires a terrain manipulator. And... Okay. Wow, I, I'm really too full here. Well, we can uh, clear some of this up by recharging life support. Okay, now... Um, so nanotubes, projectile. So how do we actually make a terrain manipulator? I guess it's part of the multi-tool. Okay, multi-tool? Install technology. Terrain manipulator. Two carbon nanotubes and dihydrogen jelly. Okay. I'm still uh, trying to see if there's... I mean, of course, the base building stuff is relatively new. I mean, there was a base building expansion, and I played around with that just briefly, but I want to see what else is new, except for multiplayer stuff. Uh, pure ferrite, we can store that. Okay, tree manipulator, let's see. Yep, we can dig holes now. So let's see about those buried modules. Um, Let's see, that's a... I was going to go to the alien artifact, but... Hold on, that's a different animal. Flon... Flonivium. I need to find somewhere where I can use units. I haven't been to the station yet. Uh, there's a sort of dust devil thing there. Oh no, that's the damage machinery smoking. Okay, good. Let's see what you take to undamage. 
Not that I've found damage machinery particularly useful. No, come on. Output screen, chromatic metal. I don't know how to make chromatic metal. Oh, cargo drop. There it is. All right, fine. Um, yes, exosuit, fine. Why they keep getting us to collect rusted metal, I have no idea. And then microprocessor, though. That's interesting. Something's got to require a microprocessor at some point. Right? That was something really big. Uh, so what is this now? Solar vine. I don't know what that means. These are pretty lean creatures, these dinosaur-like. Well, the ones with the spikes on. Humming egg. Those are saleable. Oh, but I wanted to dig. I've got a terrain manipulator now. Where's the buried stuff? Cobalt. Come on. Organic rock. Why is organic in quotes? Oh, that's pretty mysterious. I'll go for that. I wonder why it's like that. Oh, there's a lot of organic rocks. At least... Yeah. There's a whole field of these. Okay. What is up with these? Chlorine. Well, I don't have a whole lot of chlorine. Hold on, let me get my thermal protection up. Uh, I don't have to do it that way. I can just click this and click that. Uh, sure, you never know when you might need chlorine, and I don't know any other source of chlorine. Uh, maybe I've got the wrong... Create, mine. No, I want to mine, yeah. But I don't seem to be gathering anything from this. Maybe it's because it's stream manipulator. Ah, this is mining beam. Okay, wait. Where did my did I did I blast the chlorine? Did I destroy all the chlorine? Okay. Well, alien artifact, copper deposit. All right. Well, that's a long ways away. But let's get to it, since that's one thing that they wanted me to do. Uh, I guess it wanted me to construct metal plating for some reason. Hmm. Um, so, I'll need... What was it again? Ferrite dust. Well, I stored that in the ship, but I could gather some more. The robots are much nicer than they used to be, I think. I haven't had many robot difficulties, though maybe they only bother you when you're trying to access buildings and such. Have I scanned you yet? Nope. That looks toxic. I don't know, it's fuming. Toad... Toadmutia. Toad. Okay. Still don't know what a solar vine is. Uh, where's the technology module we're going for? Here, destination reached. Okay, switch beam to... No, no. Terrain manipulator? Oop, oh, here it is. Salvage technology. We've got a bit of salvage technology. Okay, well, I don't know what that good that does. Hey, let me get out of here. Okay. And let's make sure that we've got some good uh, protection. Could be in a cave. But no, it looks like it's that mound right there. It's a copper mound. Mm -mm. 
Do I have to scan this? Nope. Not that I ever need to scan. There's another spaceship flying right by. Okay, not mining beam. I need a tree manipulator, it said. Or... Yep, yep, it does. That's not much copper. What, wait, what are you? You. Alright, analyze. Science! Oh, these are the humming eggs. Oh, but yeah, inventory's full. Okay, we won't pick up the pearls just yet. But they're sitting right there, so once we get some inventory space, we can grab them. Okay, well, we're close enough to the ship that we can fix up that. And uranium. We need more uranium. Well, it says collect Starship launch fuel or uranium. So, maybe launch fuel is enough. Pulse engine needs tritium and pyrite, neither of which I've found. We probably have to trade for that. I don't know why the rusted metal isn't stacking. Warp cell. I should probably figure out how to make one. What do we need copper for anyway? Wanna, oh, it's a chromatic metal. So maybe we can make chromatic metal now? It doesn't say so. Fraggle rock. No, no, let me, let me. This is going to be fraggle rock. Okay. Fraggle rock it is. I received 15 nanite clusters for that, apparently. Wait, you're the knowledge stone. I learned the word for calm. Sure. Give me the rusted metal, because that's the only way to open it, apparently. Gek relic. Well, that could be useful, actually. Health at maximum. Alright. I don't think my health was too bad off, but... Atlas Pass version 1 required. Hmm. Well, there's that. that. That's the first encounter of an item that required an Atlas Pass. We remember how that was. But I'm just uh, following the Awakenings stuff here in the bottom right hand corner. So we need. We need copper. So I'm getting copper. I don't know what selenium is, but let's get get some. Oh, wrong thing. I think overall they've improved the textures somewhat, and I, I especially like the third person view being added. I need I need to find I haven't found anything to expand my suit inventory yet. Unidentified material, okay. Do all plants have planets, you mean? I don't know, I've only been to two, so I can't really say that they all have life on them. I'm pretty sure not all of them have animals. But I don't know if all of them have plants. It is uh, a universe that has uh, more than average abundance of life. I mean, it's supposed to be a sci-fi, uh, you know, it, it's not it's not real life universe. It's more like a 1950s version of the universe. Um, you know, so it's that 1950s sci-fi. You have to think of that era of sci-fi and their picture of the universe, and it's sort of like that. It's not, it's not like realism overhaul or anything. It's, uh, it's deliberately science fiction. What is the atmosphere made out of? Well, like, let's see. Um, not that. Uh, does it say much about it? Um. It doesn't say much right now here. Heated atmosphere. The main problem is temperature is the main hazard here. I have to keep on my helmet, so presumably it's not easily breathable, and I'm getting uh, oxygen-rich plants in order to stay breathing, so. Whatever the atmosphere is made out of, I don't think it's something I can breathe. Uh, 
Construct a base computer. Well, did they ever tell me how to construct a base computer? Uh, what was the key for that anyway? Z? Okay, so... Um, portable refiner, base computer. But I need the chromatic metal refined. So, how do I refine the chromatic metal? Oh, refiner. Well, that makes sense. Okay, for now, we'll go with that. Alright, so... Deploy the refiner. Do I have a refiner on me? Signal yeah, portable refiner. Um... Nope. Nope. Yes. Okay. I want to put in... Copper. And I get chromatic metal. Okay. But we need fuel. Um, condensed carbon. Okay. Begin. Begin. All right, 99, fine. Okay, um, you, all right. Base computer. Hmm, well, if they say I need it, I guess I need it. Cartographic archives. No prior claims on this site. Sonar test confirms Site is suitable for construction. Claim site. I don't know. I, do you guys... I don't know if... I don't know if this is the best place for a base. I don't want to claim this land. This isn't the nicest place ever. Maybe we should go to somewhere else and claim that instead, huh? Or do you guys think that this is pretty good? Seems a little bit iffy. And hot. I don't like it hot. It's 75 degrees Celsius. It's pretty darn hot. Okay. Oh, 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 uh, need toxic protection. Wait. Oh, that's different. Oh, oh, uh oh. Ouch. Um, no. Dang it. It's getting very toxic in here. Okay. Hope oh, there's more of these here without the toxicity. Good. I remember when grabbing pearls like this, the local bots would kill you. Apparently they're not too picky about it now. Oh, we've got as many as we could pack. Five, apparently. We need to go to the station to sell stuff. I'm gonna grab this, because I don't want to have to build another one. And we'll register a base somewhere else. Let me save this sector. Launch thruster has some fuel. Got a pulse engine with a little bit of fuel, but we could use a lot more. No warp cell yet, because I don't have any antimatter. It really wants me to register my base, and I'm hoping that I'm not making a big mistake trying to lift off here, like it's gonna strand me or something. But. Let's find out. We are departing Fraggle Rock. Okay. Um, down. Oh wait, there is that the station icon? Well, dip it. Uh, I hate navigating with the mouse. Space station. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go there.
It's really, really eager that I make a surface space. Space to engulf. Oh, okay. Pulse jump. There we go. That's easier, I guess. I hope that didn't cost too much fuel, though. I don't. Uh, that. The fuel for the pulse jump is tritium. And I don't have much of that. Okay. Uh. No. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Up. Up. This is technically my first arrival at a space station in this playthrough. And it's got triumphant music and everything. I hope this is the right way around. Oh no, it's not. It's, uh, it's auto landing now. But it was the wrong way around. I need a name for my ship too. I don't like this no Jose's, no Jose's crystal folly thing. I don't even know what that means. Okay, what can I trade with? Well, definitely the albumin pearls, that's all they're good for. We should mine more cobalt. They seem to want that. Only 157 of them. Uh, they sell for 198 units each. Sodium's only 41. This is 2,000 units. I want to hang on to that though, just in case we need it. Nightingale? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Because <laughs> my, my automatic typing suggests that it's with an E, but whatever. There are a lot more aliens around here these days. It used to be just one alien. Physicist. Okay, well, let's talk to a physicist. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Mm, I can see a potential problem. Lights in the electronic life forms casing start to brighten. They jerk their head sharply to the right. A strange buzzing noise signaling an onrush of unseen data. The download over. They downgrade their communication channels to those of conventional speech. Uh, request dialect help. Help, maybe, or barter. Well, let's do that. Oh, thumbs up. Teaches me a word of their language. Traveler. Okay. Um, can I... Barter? But I don't want to pay a thousand... I'll ask for directions. That's good. A place of interest. Okay. Signal detected. Alright. Operator. Corvax Convergence, blah blah blah, Traveler, okay. A very simple and inelegant one that's devoted to conversing with creatures of low intelligence. Well, I'll get dialect help. Probability. Hmm. The law of physicists around. Uh, become aware of a small device in their hand. They are discreetly but unmistakably pointed towards me, moving its flashing lights and, well, you have to submit to scans these days. Blue bits supposed to be clipped like that? I don't know. It is an odd placement. You would think that it should be centered, right? Um, it seems, I mean, if I was to guess, the it, it ought to be centered, but... And that seems to be a mistake, but I don't know. Maybe he's just like that. Maybe, maybe it's like uh, like some sort of handicap and you're not supposed to mention it. Well, this one has the same problem, so probably not. 
Yeah, the left side completes the right, yeah. So maybe it's just not properly centered. Or maybe it's like that, I don't know. Oh, come on, drop me at least one word that I can understand. Nope. Represented of the Guild of Mercenaries. Um. Okay. There's sort of a tunnel-y thing here. Station Terminus. It's a teleporter. But I don't know where I'm gonna go, so let's not do that. Technician. I want a trading post. Research. Oh, there's that thing. This is a trading post. Okay, sell items. Um, no signal booster is completely useless to them, apparently. But that's alright, I didn't want to sell it anyway. All items. So, they don't want my album and pearls? Come on. Oh, there, there we go. Sell for 44,000? Why aren't they... Why is it in red, though? Hmm. Well, I received the units. So, guess it's alright. Unstable plasma looks interesting. Um, Salt. Better than sodium. And uh, platinum oxygen filter. Oxygen capsule. Well, it won't matter which inventory I'm picking. Um, Prefabricated circuit board. But no... Antimatter. Uh, the lights in the electronic life forms mask casing seem to constrict. Well, they didn't. All right, more dialect help. Why not? Please. Okay. Well, please is important. Traveler. Yes. They beat a rhythm. Oh, ones and zeros. Uh Hmm. <laughs> this this could be dangerous. You you think it was ASCII or something? I doubt it. I mean, they speak a different language to begin with. I don't have enough copper. Okay, alien monolith. Looks to us for help. Well, I'll give carbon, that's fine. I got nanite clusters in exchange. Don't know what good nanite clusters are, but my standing with the Corvax has increased, so that's good. I think. Alright, another journey milestone. Space Trucker. Okay. Well, I appear to be the only trucker around here, actually. Corvax rank 1 out of 9. ASCII translation is Atlas. Well, that's interesting. And what am I gonna do? Uh, I was giving two letters back. I don't know what two letters I was gonna go with. What was my answer to Atlas? I mean, we could try it again. I guess we'll try it. Subconscious rhythm. On hearing it, the Korvac... Korvax looks at me with alarm. I leave disconcerted. 
Uh, it was probably a bad bet there. Oh wait, there's another ship. Let's see if they want to trade. Oh, two ships. Maybe they're... Oh, three ships even. You don't say. Buy items. Uh, dioxide I haven't seen before. Unstable plasma. Used for the, uh, for use in the plasma launcher. Hmm. That's some pretty expensive stuff, though. Ah, oh, they left. Ah. Oh. No idea what I said back. Yeah, it's only two letters. What could possibly what could it possibly be? Okay, so. Unstable plasma, can something use? I don't think so. Because that's tritium or pyrite. And that's uranium or starship launch fuel. I think I can make more starship launch fuel though. So we can at least recharge that. But my problem is this pulse engine. I don't see where I'm getting the fuel for that. It may have been gibberish. Okay, maybe. There aren't too many things you can see with two letters. What is this place, anyway? Oh, there's just a viewing lounge. Okie dokie. Well, I can't get out of system. I don't have a warp drive. I haven't found any antimatter. I guess I'll just have to establish a base on Fraggle Rock and see. Yes, the best thing about getting journey milestones is that you get through that journey milestone and you don't have to see it again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, back to Fraggle Rock. But no guarantee we're going to the same part of Fraggle Rock. Um, I don't suppose we could do a scanning pulse. Well, there's a monolith thing over there, but that doesn't seem to be on this planet. I suppose we could do some flying around. Maybe we'll be able to see something interesting. My scanner on the ship isn't particularly good. Maybe we can get some beachfront property if we're going to claim something. I don't know if there are beaches, but... I remember better planets than this. This is not the best planet to claim. But I suppose we can make more than one base, right? Maybe I should build my base on top of a mountain. Then again, it'll probably be harder to access it, get to it, and get off of it and all that. Whoa, okay. Under a rock? It's shade. It's very hot around here. Fine. I'm gonna go with Shade. It's also sort of a uh, sort of Damocles. No, it's not great at all. I wonder what that 
flame look is. You see that little, uh, there's like a flame going there. But I think they, they want us to establish one here, so fine. I'll just do that. Alright, base computer. Oh, I didn't want a new base computer. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not. And it gave me achievement unlocked, so, you know. And we're under a rock. I don't know if the shade is really shade. Use the terminal terminal with E. Well, wait, no. Entry storm sweeping construction supplies low shelter plans. Well, yeah, I guess we'll get shelter plans. Wooden wall. We need carbon to make a wooden wall. Okay, so we have to build foundations, floors, that sort of thing. Suddenly it's Fallout 4. Okay, so where is sodium? I saw some carbon around somewhere. There it is, C+. Plus. Carbon crystals. Mining beam, good. I don't know. Uh, let's see what it looks like first before deciding too much about the base. They're making me gather, uh, build wood, so, you know. It might be a log cabin sort of thing, I don't know. I remember upgrading my exosuit so that it had more stamina and everything. Okay, construct a shelter, build a foundation from wooden floor panels. So first of all, we will need to make wooden floor panels. How we're gonna make log, I mean, uh, wood planks out of these tiny little carbon plants, I don't know, but that's what's gonna happen. Any better? I, I liked it before, so I'm, I'm not a be the best person to say, I guess. I, I assume it's better because a lot of people seem to be getting back into it. There's sort of a collaborative multiplayer-ish thing to it now. So if we really wanted to get together in the game, that, that is apparently possible. Wait, there's a critter next to my ship? Well, anyway, it's one of those spiny back things. And apparently I got to get build a wood hut kind of sort of thing for some reason does it matter if it's clipping into the ground I mean it's hardly possible to find a place where it's not gonna be clipping into the ground okay it is basically like chopping down trees in Minecraft to build build your settlement or whatever I guess Okay, so, but right now it's just like one floorboard size, but I guess we'll have a little atrium sort of thing. Um, fine. Um, I haven't built my shelter yet, you can't give me a storm, that's not fair. It's... It's quite a portal, yeah. Okay, it's probably gonna get pretty hot soon. Let me just try and get one more floorboard in. I don't want to be building, I like exploring more, but the game does not... It hasn't given me any antimatter, so... Apparently, exploring isn't gonna happen right now. Come on, run, 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 run. Why am I on the edge of a cliff suddenly?
Yeah, so it hasn't given me any antimatter, so I don't know how to get away from this this particular system. This system isn't particularly good, I don't think. Looks like wood is all we've got right now. Hopefully we get better technology later, like, oh, I don't know, brick <laughs> or something. I don't know. What would be better? I guess somebody told them that they wanted base building. Again, I'm not big on base building. I'll probably have to look up how to get antimatter. I remember at some point you you just get antimatter somehow and then you jump to another system and then you can start buying it in the in the spaceport. But I wasn't able to buy it at the spaceport right now. Okay, entry. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage technology from nearby thingamajig. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Fine, I'll take the plans for subterranean devices. New building part. Blueprint analyzer. Well, I, I like analyzing blueprints. Sounds good to me. Okay, first of all, let's make sure hazard protection is up to snuff. Requires magnetized ferrite. Place pure ferrite in the portable refiner. Pure ferrite. Two to one, so we have just enough. Let's have condensed carbon in there. Alright, begin. We get just 20 out of that. Okay, so now we need to craft a carbon nanotube. But first, let's put something into the ship so that I'm not carrying it around. Rusted metal. I should have sold the rusted metal at the space station. Waiting input. Recovered buried technology from dig sites. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. Well, I think I got some. I stored it in the ship. Let me see. Firestorm again. Oops, I didn't really want to get in just yet. Um, or did I keep it with me? I have the salvage technology. All right, let's see about this blueprint analyzer. Blueprint research. Um, okay, so... I've already got this stuff, don't I? Bed. Apparently I have to research a bed. Communication terminal. I think I need that. Sure, why not? Wooden ramp. Hmm. I want a bed. These are not the things I thought I would be researching the blueprint for. Surprisingly, I, I would not need a blueprint in order to make a bed. Hmm. Base teleport module. Yeah, why not? I'll get some more salvage modules to get more stuff. So that's what those salvage technologies do. Not exactly the salvage technology I was looking for. I was looking for, like, better extensions for my multi-tool, uh, something to increase the number of slots in my exosuit, that sort of thing. But yeah, okay, let me get back into my ship and save as a result. Oop, don't fall into the pit. So at this point, to my YouTube audience, I say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.